Surface Duo's official support from Microsoft may have ended a couple of days ago, but that doesn't mean it's still not going to be getting updates. Just updates not from an official source. In this video, we're going to take a look at a really big change coming to the Pixel Experience Android 13 ROM for Surface Duo, something I think you guys are definitely going to be intrigued to see. Some of the default sort of factory Surface Duo functionality making its way to this ROM. But to look at this first, what we should do is let's look at how things currently work on that ROM so that you guys can kind of understand what this change is. So we're looking at the Pixel Experience ROM on my Surface Duo, and this change coming is in regard to multitasking. Let's go ahead and open up an application and I'll show you how this works. As you can see here, this is of course spanned across both screens. Now, if I want to open up a second application, I want to split screen an app per screen on this device. What I would do is I'd swipe up from the bottom to get the multitasking pill, if you will, the taskbar, and I would then drag it up to one spot or another. And that does work just fine. However, on the original Surface Duo, or I should say the factory software, things work a little bit differently. Let's slide Surface Duo 2 in here and we'll do the same thing. Let's open up YouTube and first off you can see it launched it on one side, one screen, which is, you know, just part and parcel for Surface Duo. But let's go ahead and put it into the middle and span it. If you wanted to have a second app, what you would do is you would drag up and place that app on one screen or another. And then at that point, you can use your launcher, your app drawer, whatever you want to launch that second app. And this is kind of what Ty is going to be aping in this update. Let's look at Ty's tweet here, and he actually tweeted it and then tweeted an update. So we'll just look at the final video because it's gonna show the final form of this. If we let this play, making sure there's no audio playing down there. If we let this play, what you're gonna see here is he swipes up on an app and then drags it over to that other screen. Of course, audio is playing. You can see here, as he moves from screen to screen, he gets a, a pink sort of window appearing, showing him where that app is going to go. Now, that pink window is based on the theme colors he's chosen on this device. You can see swiping up and picking his screen, very, very similar. But then when he lets go of it, Instead of seeing his desktop, he sees this sort of app switcher UI, which isn't necessarily a terrible thing. I think most of us would prefer the Duo's original implementation of getting your desktop, but for now, that's what we're seeing. When you drag an app to one side, you just get your launcher. When you do the same thing on his ROM, what you get is more akin to the multitasking experience on the Pixel Fold, which is definitely not by coincidence. Let's do the same thing on my Pixel Fold. Let's launch YouTube. I was just watching the news about Aaron Rodgers. If you're a Jets fan, I'm terribly sorry. It would be as if I drug this app over here, and then what I effectively got would be this. If I go up here and hit the split screen button, this is pretty much the, the same interface. So it slides over, and then you can simply grab another application. We'll just do the Play Store for the sake of keeping things consistent. So it's similar, but it's a slightly different implementation, and that's going to be because doing things like Surface Duo originally did requires building some stuff that I don't know if Ty's going to take the time to do. I don't know if it's something that could be done. Duo multitasks on Android in an entirely different way than other devices. And even though Ty, as a former Microsoft employee who literally worked on Surface Duo, knows this as well as anyone, reverse engineering the work that was done on Surface Duo by yourself in a way that, you know, is different from <laughs> the way Microsoft did it is not an easy hurdle to jump. I'm sure it's something that they're thinking about. But again, this is extremely difficult stuff. And the fact that they've managed to get this swipe up and then picking a screen thing going is absolutely incredible. Now, personally, the next step I would like to see, and Ty, if you're watching, this would be my suggestion. Maybe you're, already, I'm sure you've already thought about this. I'm not telling you anything you haven't already considered. But if you're able to figure out a way to make an app launch directly onto one screen or the other based on the screen you launched it on, man, we have got a real deal duo replacement ROM. And suddenly for me, 
this Surface Duo ROM is looking like something that we don't need Microsoft to be updating the thing anymore. If we have that, this thing's running like, it, it will have had the biggest like tent pole things about Surface Duo kind of already worked out at this point to a functional level. Now, of course, there are still some issues with this ROM. I've had people comment and tell me that their data isn't working super well or it's really slow. There's definitely still some problems going on there, but this is still really early days. So to see these features popping up already with, with just Ty working on this is extremely encouraging. And of course, as more of these updates occur, as this one is officially released by Ty, I will be uh, delivering update videos just like this to kind of keep you guys up to date on it. Now that, again, like I said, Microsoft's official support is over. Ty, you are our only hope. No pressure. <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe before you go so you don't miss out on more content just like this. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.